Man, look, today has been a be today has been an eventful day, to say the least. To say, <laughs> to say the least, sometimes you gotta laugh, you know, you gotta have humor. So, um, I was renting this vehicle out for like, man, since like April. But I rented from I have rented vehicles from this person before, but um. Yeah, I had rented this rented this vehicle out for like what's that? Damn near a year. So this morning I get outside. I'm like trying to jumpstart my uh, Mercedes because I ain't joking forever. It broke down. I ain't go get it fixed and whatever, whatever. You know the car just been sitting there in the driveway. So I'm like, man, let me try to get it started, detail it, fix it up, figure out what I'm gonna do with it. So we in and out the house like three four times like probably like 20 20 minutes past and i'm looking around like something don't look right i'm like something don't look right whole time the hyundai is gone the hyundai elantra is gone i'm like what the fuck first thing come to mind somebody stole it somebody done stole the damn car that's the first thing came to my mind right so i'm like okay let me follow the report you know let me hit up the guy let me call him i'm calling calling i called him about 20 times text him like somebody stole the car you no, know, it's parked right here. No, it came out. It was gone. You know, I'm like, can you track it? You got a tracker on it. I know. Can you track it? Call it. He not answering. So I filed a, I tried to file the report. I was waiting on the deputy to come out. And then eventually a sheriff called me back. But before that, so I'm talking to the guy that I rent the vehicle from. And he like, um, he like, yeah, at first he responded. He finally answered. He said, like, no way. He like, I'm visiting family in the DR. And um, so I can't really call right now. Maybe FaceTime audio. He like, nah, no way. Um, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, it's gone. You know, this will happen. I'm like, can you track it? He said he tried to track it, but the last location didn't show until the last location was the location that showed the night before. So basically, it didn't show him an updated location. So um, he like, I don't know. Maybe they, you know, took off the the low jack, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Did he telling me about a situation to where somebody had stole one of his other vehicles? He just texted me back to back about how that situation went. And I'm like, man, that's crazy. Yeah, I didn't know people could do that, whatever. You know, talking about they made a fake uh, pink slip registration, whatever, and, and sold the vehicle. It's like some crazy stuff. So I'm like, damn, that's wild. So he just texted me nonstop about that. And I'm like, huh. so finally like two hours later a sheriff's called me back like mind you in the meeting in the midst of all this we call it all we call in all of the uh tow companies giving a license plate van number trying to see if they found the vehicle we call it we call it all around nobody has no record of towing this vehicle so i'm like it's three options Somebody a tow somebody a thief with a stow, tow truck came and stole the car, right? A thief with a tow truck came and stole the car. Um, it was repossessed. Wait, what was the other option? Somebody stole it was re, a thief with a tow truck came to car stole the car. It was repossessed. Th those only two options, you know. Well, the first option was I forgot. Anyway, so I'm like those are the only two options. And um, the sheriff called back like, yeah, so uh, did you guys, because at first I didn't have a license plate number, so I found it on the picture. So I found it and I gave it to them. the sheriff. They called back and I gave it to them. They checked their system. Tell me why this car got repossessed. So the guy I was paying said he was paying the person who car the name is in, supposedly. But mind you, him and his partner, they have a fleet of vehicles. It's not like they only had one car that was renting out. You know, I've been dealing with him for three years, I'm gonna say two, three years. I done rented about three vehicles from him. So, you know, it's actually a bit his business, him and his partner, whoever, has multiple multiple vehicles. So, yeah, the sheriff, like, it was repossessed, and they gave me the company who repossessed the car, and I, I text the dude, like, yeah, the sheriff's called. They said it's repossessed. This is who has the vehicle. Yada yada. I'm like, I need to be reimbursed for the rest of this week. I'm not able to work. Whatever, you know. So he, you know, he zelled me. He compensated me for the remaining days of this week. And um, he just like, wow, like, no, um, 
I pay my I pay this person, you know, it's the cars in this person's name, I pay them and I'm trying to get in touch with them. I can't get in touch with them. They went to Mexico, uh maybe they'll be back, whatever whatever. I don't know if they're back. I'll be back Sunday, just um Yeah. So I don't know what happened, honestly. Um luckily we didn't have nothing too valuable in the vehicle. But it didn't get stolen, it just got repossessed, so I'm sure uh, we could get the items out. And uh, it's just crazy, like, to wake up and your car is gone. Like, that is, like, mind-boggling to me. To wake up and your car is gone. So that's how my morning going, my day going. So we back in the Tesla. Uh, we down to one vehicle again. We'll figure out, uh, I don't know, like, if I'm going to rent from him again when he get back Sunday, get another vehicle from him, which I think, I think I should get another car from him, or I think there's something fishy going on, or what? What y'all think, man? Y'all comment below. But other than that, um, life's been all right, you know, ups and downs. As usual, you can't avoid them things. And, uh, Happy New Year. You know, first and foremost, well, not first and foremost, I've been talking for like seven minutes. But Happy New Year. I hope y'all brought it in safely. You know, I hope y'all brought it in with the people y'all love. I hope that you have new goals and understand that no matter what happens in life, you got to keep going, man, one day at a time. You know, we don't know what's on the other side. And uh, I want to be here as long as I can. You know, I have tough days just like the rest of us. So, I understand how hard and how tough things can be, especially around these, this time of the year. December is a tough year for a lot of people. But, man, y'all stay strong. Keep y'all head up. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to keep y'all with me for the rest of the day. Uh, try to get more vlogs out for y'all, man. I just want to get, I want to get back in front of the camera, man. Reaction videos, vlogs, pranks. I just want to get back in front of the camera. I think it'll help me mentally. You know, uh, I done built up this YouTube channel with reaction videos over 40,000 subscribers I don't want to feel like I'm taking that for granted so I'm going to get back to the K-pop reaction videos I kind of want to make a whole new channel for that I don't know but I'm figuring it all out man I'm, I'm not perfect you know and I'm not going to try to um, perfect my creativity you know however I'm feeling that's the type of content I'm going to make of course I want y'all to let me know what y'all want me to see you know mukbangs reaction videos um Whatever the case may be, man, y'all just talk to me. Let me know because uh, I wouldn't be here with this amount of subscribers. I wouldn't be motivated to upload and do videos if it wasn't for y'all. Yes, I love to create. Yes, I love making videos. But if I don't have nobody watching me, commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing, giving me feedback, it wouldn't. It would be no fun, you know. But um, yeah. But we headed to the Tesla charge station and. Uh, get this car charged and go on about the day handle some business and yeah see y'all in a minute